Madeline is in charge of the Phantom 4. This is the launch pad suitcase. Only, only one person should carry the LiDAR. It'll open from the front. Oops, sorry. And so we'll plug in, we'll connect the wires. Saida, would you like to do that? And I use the satellite image to line up with this trip. My name is Dr. Sean Chenoweth. I'm the Director of Technology for the new Master of Science in Geographic Information Science and Technology. If you're interested in, in geography or, or any kind of geospatial information technology, JSU is the place for you to come. We've got an excellent undergraduate program and you can transition into our new graduate program in Geographic Information Science and Technology. I'm Miles, I'm a GTA here with the Geographic Information Systems and Technology program and I love making maps. So I think Dr. C's got, or Dr. Chinowith has a really great method of teaching us how to use a drone to map, which is where we process our drone data, is that we go out, we fly, uh, we collect our own data. We get to uh, be involved in every process of the data uh, collection method. So we plan our own plot. So we go out and say, hey, we want this square. We want seven lines and we want 70% overlap of, of, between the pictures. So we're involved in like every step of processing that data. So we go out there, we collect, we fly, we then bring home that data or bring it back to the lab. We process it there and he steps us through this like with our own data. Um, it just really helps us with the whole processing. And I think it's it's better to use our own data than to like go download someone else's data because you don't know where it is, you don't know what you're looking at. Whereas with our data, like, oh, that's Jacksonville, that's our library, that's our building, that's my car. So we know what it looks like. And this is the healthy forest area near the parking lot. And you can see the cars here that were scanned by LiDAR. What you're seeing here is the flight lines and the base station, that was the GPS we mounted on a two meter uh, tripod. My name is Saida Garichai. I'm an assistant professor for GIS and technology program. I think our department has a good lab uh, and good classes with touch screen boards. Uh, what I do in class with them after we collect the data outside or if they collect the data online or any GPS data that they collect, uh, we post-process them in the lab. Uh, my name is James King. I'm a graduate teaching assistant here at the Geographic Information Systems and Technologies program. My favorite part of the program, I think, is getting the chance to work with many of the different uh, technologies that are available to us. Uh, everything, not only just the programs for uh, with Arc Pro and ERDAS, uh, but also getting to use a lot of the field technologies, uh, such as uh, you know the Trimble units, uh, going out and be able to collect data, um, do some on the ground uh, information gathering. Uh, also, uh, the drones are really cool. Uh, getting a chance to, to gather information uh, in new ways that maybe 10 or 20 years ago we didn't have the chance to do uh, is one of the most fascinating parts of this program for me. We have more equipment. We have an awesome lab in which you can learn GPS technology, drone technology, and these are tools of the industry. You can leave here and go get a job and you're going to have very little on-job training. This is a place where you can come and get the skills and go to work and have a great life.